Now, welcome. Just a small tutorial on a couple of things that hopefully may help somebody. I'm going to process this image here, and there's a couple of things wrong with this that's uh, definitely not straight. I obviously did not take notice of my uh, leveler in camera. So let's have a look at uh, leveling uh, the horizon. Now, there's nothing worse, in my opinion, of having a seascape that the uh, horizon is not level. It can actually distract from your image and take away the impact of it. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do in Lightroom. So up in Lightroom, just come up to just under your histogram and you've got the little crop overlay or R on your keyboard. Now, there's a couple of ways you can do this. The way that I do it, you can just got this angle here and there's a little tool here. If you left click, will come out, you'll bring it out of its little circle. And what you can do is just run it along the horizon, um, say, so just put that little cross here on the horizon, left click and hold, and then drag a point out to another point, which you can see the ocean and let go. And automatically you will have a straight line. Uh, if we go Control Z, uh, the other way is uh, you could try and use Auto, and I think it does a reasonable job. And we'll go Control Z, and another way you can use the angle slider. Um, and when you you can see the little boxes, and you know if you my I don't use this because my eyes, but you can roughly just try and line those lines up to the horizon. Try that. As I said, I do like using the the angle. Just click, drag, and let go. And what you can do is just come back to the Edit tab, and you can um, left click, blow it up, hold the um, left mouse button down, and you've got you've got the kind of uh, straight edge at the top here of the sky. So you just drag it up. You can actually see if you've done a good job. And to me, that is perfect. And okay, I'm just looking along the edge, and there's no no daylight. Looks good. Looks good to me. So we've got a, a nice straight image to begin with. Obviously, this was shot on raw. There was a lot more color happening in the sky. It was quite yellow. It was very warm. Uh, it was sunrise, so this was quite a deep blue up in the sky. And I think it was be what was I shot at eight seconds. So yeah, so it's very early in the morning. I don't think the sun had risen. So eight seconds at the f11 and shot at 16 mil on base ISO. So let's come in and see where I want to go with this image. So really want to push this uh, color up. Um, definitely, I think needs a crop. I'm just looking, there's quite a bit of space in the middle here. Like I'd actually like to actually pull the left side over um, just to narrow the gap a little bit. So there's a little bit of Photoshop see if we can uh, do, do that. So let's come and do some edits on this. So straight away, look at my histogram. It looks fantastic. There's uh, no clipping. Um, I'll put those on you can see there's no red or blue flashing lights or solid um, color red or blue so what I'd like to do is first is just come in and actually drop my highlights down even further so I'm really kind of bringing some more detail back uh, in that highlight area even though it's not blown out because I just want to add some more color um, bring the color up on this later um, Blacks, look, we could just come up and open those up. Maybe the shadows, just a little bit. Maybe show some details on those uh, on that rock wall out here. Um, texture, you can play with texture if you like. You could put a couple of um, percent in there. Maybe just add some texture. Um, detail, let's just push that up and hit the Alt key. Hold it down and just sharpen um, those pergolas there. Uh, transform look this wide angle lens was stretching things so why don't we come in and just bring the scale um, 
Yeah, and just bring that in a little bit. I think that's actually helping the image um, come in. And I'm also looking at the pergolas there. Actually, this one here is leaning uh, to the right and now. And this one here is leaning to the left and this one maybe a little bit to the left. So probably not on a good foundation, but uh, see if we can fix that in a minute. So I'm just going to bring that in just to tighten that up. I'm pretty happy with that. Color. Um, let's just push. Just want to see where that color goes. A little bit of yellow coming in, quite a bit of blue. Just a lot of blue. The yellow's coming up. And red. Okay. And that's fine. I like it over here, but it's getting too much blue for me up here. So I'm going to come back into the color mixer on my saturation and I'm just going to pull that blue out just, just a little bit. Maybe some aqua there, check with it. That's all right, I'm happy with that. And uh, that's probably all I'm going to do in this image. I'm going to come in, uh, right click, edit this in Photoshop. So let's fix these um, vertical, um, it's going to flatten that. These, I need to bring this to the left. And these things to the right, and this one needs to come to the right a little bit. So how are we going to do that? Well, there's a tool that we could try. I'm just going to duplicate the layer. I'm going to come up to filter at the top of your menu here and come down. Let's try the liquify tool. All right. Now, make this fairly large and see where this goes. So I'm just going to maybe about just off center and left click and just pull that to the left. Okay, we'll crop this later. So it's keeping an eye on the horizon. Now these two here, now I don't want to go too small because it may be there and just see where this goes. So I'm just going to come in and just get this more trial and error that's a little bit better this one here can come I'm just eyeballing it but it's a great little tool to just to get your verticals and your horizon sorted it really adds to the image okay so let's click OK all right let's go before and after All right, that looks a lot better. So yeah, be mindful of your horizon and any verticals in the image. You can do this with buildings. Just make sure they're not leaning because they don't lean in nature. And okay, so I want to come in and we could do a crop. So I want to come in, I'm thinking a 16 by nine crop. So let's just come in, just pull that to there and there and let's put that on yeah and i think the third look at enter okay so i've got a little bit of an issue up here but that's all right we could probably come in and try the um just come in and paint that yep that looks looks good all right um I'm just thinking, I wonder if we can actually slice this image and bring it in a few inches. We'll give it a go. Um, let's just come in and make, or oh, let's say to there. When you hit Control T, brings up your transfer tool. And let's have a look here, see what happens here. If I just bring that across and try to keep this at sky level. This is about there, let that go. Hit enter. Okay, so we're the line because of the blend. Um, and we'll need to crop this out. So what we could do is help this blend by putting a mask on this background copy. So let's just come and hit a um, just to make a white mask. And let's use a black paintbrush to paint out. So hit the um, X and then the brush. 
maybe 30% opacity. You can see it up here on the opacity, 30%. Just see what happens if I just blend this sky in a little bit better. And I might go 40% just to speed things up. All right, just take your time. Come in here, just blend that water. Slowly get in there. We could zoom in and just see how we're going. It looks yeah, we're getting there. So is that what I say? Forty percent? Yeah, we could go a bit higher, but look, sometimes just take your time. All right, that looks looks good. All right, how we're we looking? Maybe just a little bit here. All right. All right, so we've brought it in, you know, maybe a, I don't know, maybe an inch or so. So let's come in and crop that and just bring that in to here. All right, so there's a slight difference. I think it's just now put that um, in over a little bit just to knock that gap out a little bit. Looks pretty good. All right. All right, let's put this on its own layer again and just kind of punch these colors up. So there's a couple of ways I could do this. We could add contrast. Um, we could uh, just come in and use Nick effects and look straight away. I've got a skylight filter. Uh, you could come and just hit the plus and it'll straight away put on skylight filter and you can bring that off and you can bring that up. And it's really hitting those warmer colors. Probably too much. Nope, I'm going to go cancel. We might come back to that tool. Uh, we could come and use a luminosity mask in that, that color. So, what I might do, I might come up to the TK multi panel, hit this little brush up here, multi colored brush, come in and just pick a color. So, let's pick this color. So, let's come in there. And click OK. So this is going to put it out on a mask. So anything that's light in this image will be adjusted. The most watched black will not be adjusted. So it's picked up all the yellows or the warmer colors. And uh, let's come in and put it that out on a hue saturation layer. All right. So there's my hue saturation. And we can come in and just go push that saturation up and see what it does. All right. It's just hitting the luminance on that mask okay so that looks good so let's come back and turn that on and off it's good all right so let's um you know it's still a bit bright for me the sky so let's put that on another layer and let's come up and use a luminosity mask it's just in the lights so come up to the multi mask come in and we can choose a luminosity mask and I'm just thinking um, going to go with two so once again what's uh, white here will be adjusted the most what's black here will not be adjusted and what's in the mid tones won't just be adjusted a small amount so let's come and put that out on uh, we could go curves levels we could use brightness saturation so I just use I don't know, let's use the curves, uh, sorry, levels. And why don't we hold the Alt key down while we're at the left Alt key and just come in, look, 
because I'm on a mask it can't do that that's okay so just come in and I might just try the mid-tone slider let's bring that back so it's really pushing that color now where I want to go really nice all right done okay turn it on and off and that's through uh, this mask through through that selection there uh, through that mask here so luminosity masks are very very powerful and if you're using um, you know shooting landscape you know, you take a bit of a deep it's a bit of a deep dive to learn but it's well worth it once you understand the basics and let's have a look here let's put that out on layer um, and let's use a let's just tighten this image up because all the action's really in the center um so why don't we kind of sandwich this image to bring the viewer's eye into that middle so let's come in and use adobe camera raw which can be found up in uh, your menu up here and under filters and why don't we hit the m key for a masking features and use a luminosity mask i'm just going to scroll out so i've got my lumen um a uh, ma um, graduated mask here so I'm just going to pull that down and what this mask is telling me what's red is going to be adjusted the most and then I've got a nice feather running through here you can bring that down to make it more stronger in the sky but it's just out there and let's come over to exposure and just drop that exposure all right just drop that Okay, so I might just put some yellow in that, just a little bit of yellow and a little bit of magenta. Now I'm going to click on create a new mask, so just above the mask here, I'm just going to hit create new mask and we're going to do another linear gradient. And once again, I'm going to come up from the bottom and I'm going to add, uh, subtract some light. So I'm just going to pull this down, maybe add some blue here, maybe a little bit of magenta. All right, we can come back to this uh, edit to bring us back into all our exposures and colors and detail tabs. And just looking at it, and look, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, so, yeah, so I'll probably just click OK. My logo on it. Um, So yeah, so hopefully that just helps somebody um, getting your horizon straight. Maybe you've got a couple of um, things you need to uh, straighten in the vertical and then just do some basic adjustments on your image. So hopefully that helps somebody. Thanks for watching.